Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sessa here with a video here today bringing guys the best free font designers 2020 number two, okay? So of course we did this early in the actual year. This is basically the second one now in the year, so that's why it's called number two. So hope you guys do enjoy these actual picks that I ended up picking up. So some new fonts, some popular ones that I kind of missed out on, and just hopefully you guys can get to know them and enjoy them and put them in your font arsenal. And if you wanted to go ahead and check out any of the other episodes in the top right, you can just use the info panel or the playlist and down below in the description. Either way, this all the fonts just kind of like I use is always gonna be in these videos, so please go ahead and check them out. All the fonts you guys see in this video, as per usual, will be single links, and then it'll be one kind of bundle link if you guys just download all of them at once, and, uh, and or just pick the ones you guys want. You know, either way, it works. So regardless, love you guys. Of course, in the comments below, let me know what kind of fonts you've been working with that, of course, are free, that people can use and download that it might not be my list, um, that you just use very regularly. So that's it. Love you guys. Enjoy. Okay, guys, this first font I have for you guys is called Tommy. Tommy has a classic feel that I can definitely see being used in a lot of different areas. But for me, I think it fits super, super well in this really dope advertising setting. Viewing the project of the actual fonts use cases really helped me spark interest and like inspiration of where I can actually place these fonts in my personal projects. A really clean sans serif font that I can definitely see you guys all enjoying for sure. Honestly, just slap a nice low tone, low vibrance picture in this font and you got an absolute winner. So next up is a font known as Hackney. I, the font name, you know, don't worry about it too much, but uh, Hackney was a font that I actually ended up searching for because I want a nice cool clean sans serif font, but also had a, like, a nice brush style to it as well. A lot of brush styles have usual aggressive characteristics and like curves and skews, and I just want a nice cool simple construction, and I love the fact that this one has that. So if you're looking for a really clean brush font, I think this is an absolute great choice, and you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Alright, this next font is known as Stretch. Okay, so Stretch had a super dope concept of a text effect that I actually love doing and I actually saw my previous video like a couple weeks ago and uh, it's just filling space with just type. So by double tapping a letter, you can actually make the font stretch, which is honestly just like, like, is that like technology for fonts or something? I know it's probably not new, but it's new to me and I thought that was super freaking cool. I think all of you guys should have a font like this, especially if you love the sort of style where it's the stretch kind of letter thing. Not only that, but of course the font itself is super well put together and definitely a really good pickup from me. All right, guys. So next up is a font known as Akira. Akira is a super clean sans serif font with its own little characteristics. Honestly, it has a super nice strong stance so it can be really easily used for headings and such. I think the font speaks for itself and it'll definitely be a nice addition to your font arsenal. Alright guys, so next up is Grifter. Grifter is both free for personal use and commercial use, which honestly blows my freaking mind. This font creator says he was going for an Adidas shoe brand look, and I think he honestly nailed it. This font is the only font that I've truly found that the lowercase looks way better than the uppercase. And honestly, I probably rarely, maybe like 90% like of the time, always use capital letters. So I mean, this for me is just like, it's an eye opener. So if you're in the market for a dope lowercase font that can just sit as a nice heading text, then here you go. All right, guys, and the last font in this bunch is, oh, oh, wait, oh my goodness, wait, how did this get here? Oh, oh, I'm, all, right, all right, obviously, I'm, I'm joking, so this is my font, it's, yeah, it's created by me, so earlier this year, I went ahead and created the Acquire font, which is basically going to be like the successor, I guess you would say, to the Quantum font, so basically, Acquire is exactly what the Quantum font wanted to be if I had any other knowledge in the world with fonts, so this is what it basically is, it's a cool little tech vibe, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Uh, if you guys, I, you guys killed with the support with the quantum font. So once again, thank you guys for that. But uh, yeah, if you guys want this in your arsenal, my favorite thing about this font is the numbers. So you can just definitely use it for numbers as well. And I hope you enjoy it. And that brings us guys to the end of the video here today. So once again, if you guys do enjoy all these fonts, please leave a like on the video. And once again, let me know what channel ones you guys are using in the comment section below. As always, guys, I'm going to leave you guys here. Talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Love you and enjoy yourselves. Peace.